When lighting for the camera, I've always wanted to match my light sources to the response of that camera I'm using. In this video, I will explain the techniques and software I used to match lights on camera. In my method, I incorporate the variables that exist when trying to balance lights to the needs of the camera. One variable is that image sensors differ between cameras. The problem with the current lighting metrics is they don't incorporate these differences into their readings. LEDs themselves differ, even if they're from the same batch. RGB LEDs or any LEDs are not created based on the camera's needs. An LED fixture's preset color temperature may not meet a camera's color temperature expectations. So, an LED fixture set to 3200 correlated color temperature may not meet the needs of a camera's preset 3200 degrees Kelvin setting. When I'm balancing lights to the need of the camera, I always rely on the constants that I can measure. One constant is that an electronic camera transforms light into an electronic signal. The signal has a measurable luminance and chroma value. Luminance can be measured on a waveform monitor. However, we can also use a light meter. In this case, we can match a light meter settings to the settings of the camera. The light meter reading can help predict the luminous response of that camera. However, it's different with the chroma signal. We can't input a camera's chroma response characteristics into a color meter. The meter gives a reading of the light source independent of the camera's chroma response. I use the DSC charts when I'm balancing lights to the needs of the camera as it's recognized by SMPTE and many camera manufacturers as being a reference standard. Why DSC charts? Well, their color chips are measured to be consistent in their printing, and they also correspond to the established values of the chroma signal. I also use the 4K scope software that has the HS scope feature to show me the camera response to an LED source. The 4K scope software offers many different features. We can see here in one section, it displays the camera output. It also has the unique HS scope feature. It looks similar to a spectral power distribution display, but it is in fact an electronic chroma signal generated by the camera. 4K scope also includes a traditional vector scope. The CIE display gives color space references such as REC 709, P3, 2020, and 601. Now let's look at a color meter reading of a true tungsten source. It shows a Kelvin reading of 3193 and a CRI of 99. We can also see the spectral power distribution. But how does this reading relate to our camera chroma response? The 4K scope displays the camera's chroma signal. In this example, the DSC chart is lit with a tungsten source with the camera set to 3200 degrees Kelvin. If this is our reference light, we need other lights to duplicate this chroma signal if we want them to appear balanced on camera. This is an LED fixture set to its preset of 3200 degrees correlated color temperature. We get a meter reading that says 3104 correlated color temperature and a CRI of 92. Now this is close to the reading that we got from our tungsten source. We see the spectral power distribution different, but what impact does this change have on our camera? However, on the 4K scope, we can see a dramatic shift in the camera's chroma response from this LED. It doesn't match our reference tungsten source as the camera sees it. The HS scope shows a loss of separation between some color chips. On the vector scope, we see all colors have shifted. On our color meter, we can see what happens when we dim the LED fixture. 
we see shifts in the CCT value and some lowering in the CRI. But again, what impact does this have on the camera? The HS scope displays peaks and valleys of the chroma signal this dimmed LED has created. Many LED manufacturers claim their lights don't shift when dimmed. The 4K scope will quickly show if that statement is true. Now, let's compare the 4K scope readings of the tungsten source to the LED fixture at full compared to the dimmed LED source. This is the tungsten source chroma signal generated by the camera. This is the LED fixture preset to 3200 correlated color temperature. The camera remains set at its 3200 degree Kelvin preset. Once again, here is the tungsten lights chroma reading. Again, the LED preset 3200 degrees CCT at full, and we can see there's a difference the shifts made. Now the LED fixture remains at its 3200 degree CCT preset. However, we've dimmed it. So let's toggle between the LED at full and the LED dimmed. This is the chroma signal of the LED at full. This is the LED fixture dimmed. We see the 4K scope software gives us a clear indication of our camera's chroma response to this dimmed LED source. These details help to evaluate and calibrate LED lights for the camera. Now we're going to evaluate an RGB fixture using the 4K scope software. In this example, we have an RGB fixture preset to manufacturer's 3200 CCT. We see a dramatic shift from the original chroma reading of the tungsten source. The white point may be close and the red and cyan values are close, but the remainder of the spectrum is lacking. The HS scope also shows the areas of the spectral deficiencies of this fixture. In this example, I will adjust an RGB fixture from its 3200 CCT preset. We can see in real time what happens when we go through our shifts. Although we can make adjustments, it doesn't increase the spectrum where we need it to be increased. We can also evaluate the red, green, and blue LEDs used in the fixture to see whether or not if they align with the RGB values of the camera. In this case, we see that the red and the green is a little bit off. In this case, the green is actually a bit of green and cyan. The blue LED is a little bit off also. All of this is based on the camera's response. The camera is preset to 3200. Now, if we had a second RGB fixture and we want it to match our first RGB fixture, we could align the red and green and add in a little bit of blue. Once it matches this chroma fingerprint of our first fixture based on the camera's response, we would actually have a matching of the two fixtures. The benefit of this is we have the same starting point, all based on how the camera sees the different lights. This is also a benefit for LED fixture manufacturers because now they can establish presets based on the various cameras available. The 4K Scopes HS Scope feature 
helps to match gel colors on camera. LED fixture manufacturers claim they match gel colors. Using the 4K scope software, it is easy to see if they actually do match. In this example, we have used a Roscoe 26 gel on an actual tungsten source, and we can see the chroma reference displayed. We have recorded its chroma peaks and valleys as a reference line on the HS scope. If the LED fixture matches the Roscoe 26 gel, its chroma signal will fall into the same pattern of the HS scope reference line. We now have an LED fixture set to R26. It's close, but falls short in the red areas and is shifted towards the yellow, so not a match to the actual gel. Using the HS scope reference line as a guide, we can adjust the red and yellow until it matches the R26 gel reference line. Let's look at just the HS scope display. What we're seeing is the tungsten source with R26 gel. This is the LED fixture simulating the R26 gel. We can see the spectral output does not match the R26 reference lines on camera. This is another LED fixture set to match R26 gel. And we can see exactly where it is inaccurate when compared to the reference line of the R26 gel. In the following example, we used R52 as our comparison. We see the LED fixture simulation is not accurate and where we need to alter the spectral output to get it accurate. We can see on the left our gel color as it looks from a tungsten source on camera. On the right, we see the gel color from the LED emulating that Roscoe gel. We can see immediately it does not match. It would be better if manufacturers were to provide HS scope readings as they give a more accurate reference to their light's performance on camera better than CRI, SPD, etc. In this example, we have a side-by-side -side HS scope reading showing the original tungsten reference source on the left and a DMG mix unit set to 3200 CCT. We see both match on the Arri Alexa Mini preset to 3200. You can use the 4K scope software on set with a laptop or a Windows tablet. The SDI signal can be direct or looped out from a production monitor if desired. The 4K scope also has the ability to load camera emulation files. This means you can get a reading without the actual camera attached, using a webcam for example. Here we have calibrated a flat response in the HS scope from our webcam as we want to create a chroma starting point. We load our camera's reference emulation files based on a camera's actual chroma response on top of the chroma signal output of our webcam. This mirrors the chroma response of the actual camera we want to use in our production. We see the original HS scope chroma response has shifted as it now emulates the camera we selected to use. We can store that emulated chroma response as a white reference line, so we can compare various light sources to match the camera's chroma response we choose to emulate. The white reference line shows what chroma peaks and valleys we need to match. It is easy to see this LED is oversaturated in areas while insufficient in other areas of the spectrum for the camera that we're looking to use. Adjusting the LED spectral output to match the peaks and valleys, we can get a match on that camera that we're emulating. The HS scope gives a reading that is based on the camera's chroma response to a light source. This reference is much more relevant 
than other readings currently used. The 4K scope software from Drastic Technologies with the HS scope feature makes it easier to evaluate and calibrate lights based on a camera's chroma response when used in combination with DSC Labs charts. Although not a sponsor of this video, DSC is offering a 20% discount on some of the charts when you buy them from their online store. The One Shot Plus chart is 20% off when you use code CYWBD. And a 20% discount on the DSC Camet pocket chart with code BDCAM.